Hi everybody, how's everybody doing? Right, today we're going to do a review on the hotel where we're staying at in Menorca. So we're actually in Santa Ponza and we're staying at the uh, Tui Sunio Hotel. Yeah, so it's only about five minutes walk to the beach. And uh, so what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you the room, I'm going to show you all the hotel, the swimming pool. We're going to do a breakfast review and I'll also do a dinner review as well. So it'll all be mixed in together so you can see the whole picture of the hotel. Uh, yeah, so if you haven't already, check out my other videos I've done as well so I've done the trip to, uh, to Mallorca on the aeroplane which was a bit of a nightmare and also I did a walk through uh, later on at night showing you all the shops the bars and everything that was open as well uh, yeah so thanks for tuning in thanks for all your support you give me it's really appreciated it's actually red hot here at the moment we're talking about 40 degrees uh, in the middle of the day uh, so what I've done I've come up, got up early this morning before everybody gets up uh, just to show you around the pool uh, so we're not getting everybody on, on the uh, video as well and going in the restaurant as well before everybody gets in there as well because it gets really really busy yeah so if you haven't already if you like what you're watching at the moment and you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for all my new videos coming up and don't forget to give me that thumbs up as well yeah so let's you, let's take you around this Tui Sunio in Santa Ponza, Mallorca so let's go on that adventure <laughs> Sería chimba demostrarte quién yo soy, bebé. Superaba lo que te hice a ti. Pasará me dijo la tristeza. Viera replay cambiaría por ti. Porque te amo, baby. Es que el corazón no tiene por qué hacer tanto dolor. Fueron errores que te marcan y cantarán. A grito la canción. Qué pena. Y yeah, so the sun's just. Uh just coming up and it's going to be another hot hot day today so yeah all these hotels are called the globalists as well so loads of globalist hotels uh, in uh, Santa Ponza so these guys are just going home you don't look very happy guys you going home So I just met some lovely people. So yeah, this is the entrance into the hotel. You've got the main reception. So yeah, we've got a lovely seating area around as well. So when it's red up at night, you just come sit around here nice and cool. We've got the internet area as well. Yeah, so you can come up here and relax and uh, go on the internet if you want to. But there is Wi-Fi in the room. If you want to get away from the fires and uh, need to do a bit of business, this is a place to come. So it looks like they're actually queuing up for the pool. We didn't really know they were going to actually do this. So we've got the uh, Tell Me What Entertainment song. Uh, we did a quiz night last night. Uh, they do bingo as well. Uh, before the quiz, they have the uh, children as well. We have like the mini disco. So that's at 20.30. So yeah, I do a lot of entertaining for the kids and stuff as well. You have all the trips. Yeah, it looks like the lights are coming out, so it looks like they're actually letting them through this morning to the, the pool. Yeah, so this way we've actually got the uh, entertainment area and we've got the restaurant. So the restaurant's not quite open yet, so well, I will be taking you in there for the breakfast. It is actually the times of the restaurant opening times. Right, so this is the entertainment area. So uh, I put something up about the entertainment area over, uh, in the video as well, showing you the Spanish dancers. But yeah, we've got a bar here, so all the cleaners are all at it this morning, see, because I've had to get up really early this morning. And it's not even eight o'clock yet, it's 10 to seven. So we've come up early before everybody uh, gets out and before it gets too hot. So yeah, we've got the bar area where you uh, you come to the bar for your drinks. 
and then we've got a little museum at arcade so a bit of ice hockey and a pool table as well in here Yeah, so what they do, normally there's a queue for the bar at night, so you'll have two drinks at a time, and sometimes the queue is right down to the bottom end there. But it's not normally too bad. So yeah, let's take you out to the pool. A bit cooler out here today. So yeah, not allowed in the pool yet, so I don't think they're allowed in until about 7 o'clock. But yeah, this is the pool area, nice big uh, spacious pool, and it's not too deep. So uh, across the way, actually, there's actually a pool bar, they do teas and coffees, as well as alcohol. So these sunbeds go actually mad. Uh, it's like everywhere else you go in the summer. They just, everybody comes down early for the sunbeds and uh, gets a good, good seat at the side of the uh, pool and it looks like they've actually all gone there's some beds at the side of the, uh, the pool as well they've also got the joining hotel so this joins onto the hotel we're actually staying in as well and they've actually got a kiddie pool and another little pool over there as well but yeah look there's only a few sunbeds left and it's not even seven o'clock yet so if there's no sunbeds you can actually uh, go and sit on the grass so we've got a grass area here and then we've got to pizzarella here where you can come and get your snacks so there's actually a bar as well in here and not open up yet but uh, say they do like uh, the chips and the pizzas and all kinds of stuff puddings get a lot of fresh melon and fruit from here as well but i'll try and get some video footage of that later on today yeah so that's the pool area over this sunny Tuyo Hotel. What I'll do, there's some, uh, there's a sun terrace, so what we'll do, we'll take you to the sun terrace. Right, so I've got a shaded area as well, just here next to the bar, so if it gets too hot, you can come and sit under the shade. So this takes you up to the sun terrace, and I haven't been up here yet, so uh, let's go take a look. Yeah, got a good view of the pool. So it actually gets roasting hot up here. So you can see the road where the van's just coming down now. That's where you actually uh, walk down to the beach. So the trees in the background, you see just past the hotels, is actually where the beach is. So yeah, we're not too far from the beach. There's people having the breakfast already. The sun's a bit bright. But yeah, this is the hotel. I didn't think you was actually allowed to hang your towels over the balconies, but uh, apparently they do here. Even though they've got the, uh, the dryers that actually pull out. So yeah, that's, this is the hotel. I say we've come on all inclusive, inclusive. I think you can, count, can come half board. It's actually owned by Tui as well, uh, apparently, or it's run by Tui, so it's a Tui Sunio Globulus, and there's actually a lot of Globulus hotels in uh, Santa Ponza. You can see the beach through there, the sea, there's a few boats on, just through where the, uh, the trees are, where the palm trees are, and we've got the H10 Hotel as well, that's right on the seafront. Uh, I did show you that on one of my other videos. So yeah, let's go and check the breakfast out. I'm getting a bit hungry. Right, so we'll take you in to get the breakfast. Show you what the breakfast is like this morning. So I've tried to make it before a lot of people actually uh, turn in. So yeah, we're all inclusive. So it's the uh, a breakfast buffet. So we get all the cheeses and the hams and the salad and all the donuts, chocolate donuts for your breakfast. How about that, eh? But also you get the cereals, the cornflakes. They don't look like Kellogg's though. And this side got the jams and the fruits.
So breakfast this morning. How you doing, guy? Are you all right? So yeah, you can have the full breakfast, the full English. And so you can come back as much as you like, eat as much as you want. We've got the fried eggs to order as well. Try not to disturb too many of these people. So there you go, yeah. So what we'll do, we'll grab a breakfast and uh, we'll do a test for you and we'll see what it's actually like, see what you think. So yeah, you help yourself to teas and coffees as well. So it's quite a big restaurant this is. So it goes all the way through here as well. Right, so check out the breakfast, yeah. So we've got uh, your fried egg, we've got the bacon, we've got the sausage, uh, like an ash brown type thing there, that is. We've got the little mini sausages as well. They always have those in uh, Spain. Uh, we've got the egg. So uh, we've got the uh, mushrooms and the beans. So uh, we have been here a few days and the breakfast is actually beautiful. But uh, yeah, check out that, how beautiful it is. So I've also got myself a, a, a coffee and an orange juice as well. So yeah, so that's the breakfast. Check it out, eh? Let's give it a taste. Right, so yeah, they're like catering sausages here. Everywhere you go in uh, Spain, there's like catering sausages. So yeah, the sausages there a lot. A little bit like the ones we get back at home in the chip shop. But yeah, they are nice sausages. And I, uh, I am a favorite of the sausages as well. Um, got the fried tomatoes tomatoes always uh, taste good as well when you, when they're in Spain because the hot weather and that and they actually grow them in Spain so and the scrambled egg done to perfection but yeah can't fault the meals here all the meals have been really good up to now uh, so what we'll do we'll show you the uh, the meal tonight when we come down for dinner it's going to be a few more people in here though because it gets so busy i've been in trouble because i'm not I'm, i don't chew my food enough apparently but i'm a good taster so i'm a, i like my food so yeah the fried bread's nice as well let's check the egg out so it's done really well the egg is freshly cooked Yeah, beautiful. Right, so let's give this bacon a try as well. It looks a, bit, a little bit fatty, but it's okay. Yeah, really good. So I said uh, while I was on this holiday, so I've actually come for a week uh, with a family. I actually said I wasn't going to have a uh, full English every morning. And look at this, eh? every morning I've actually had a full English breakfast. <laughs> so I hope I don't put any more weight on. But I've been doing a lot of exercise while I've been here. Whew, well, yeah, I'm actually stuffed, yeah. So yeah, my plate's nearly empty. There's a few bits and bobs left. But uh, that is absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. So yeah, really enjoy the breakfast here. And I said I wasn't going to have a breakfast every morning, a uh, fried breakfast like this. But you've got to do it and you when you're all inclusive and you're actually on your holidays but yeah up to now it's been a really nice place to stay um a few of the staff have been a bit strange as a there's a lady that actually serves oldest lady that's in the restaurant she's a bit a uh, bit dodgy so if you come in here just be careful of her because she, uh, she i think she thinks she owns the hotel to be honest the way she wanders around and orders people about but yeah she, she was a bit more polite uh asking people questions and actually telling people what to do and that and uh, people might like her a bit more but uh, yeah there's only that one person that i've come across at the moment but apart from that the rest of the staff have been absolutely excellent yeah so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to take you up to the room show you the room and then we're going to have that evening meal as well uh, but yeah you won't believe it as well just just say because we're all inclusive so yeah you have your breakfast and then they do mid-morning snacks and people actually eat 
all this as well so people will stay around the pool stay at the hotel i probably don't even uh, go nowhere anywhere near the beach or the shops or anything but yeah so they'll have the breakfast then they have mid-morning snacks which is loads of chips and stuff like that and then you have your dinner so you can come back in here for your dinners uh, then afternoon snacks as well uh, I think there's fruit on all day long as well so uh, and then they have their dinner and then they have evening snacks as well so the bar up around the swimming pool uh, they do chips and pizza and stuff like that as well uh, I think it's about between 10 and 11 o'clock but yeah you do see people having absolutely everything so they must be going home that plane must be really heavy on the way home so yeah yeah so let's take you up to the room and uh, show you around right then everybody so yeah we're on the uh, floor number three so i'll just show you where, where where the room is so yeah say they've got lovely uh, pictures everywhere you go so yeah all up the stairs as well showing you these beautiful pictures there's also vending machines on the floors as well but uh, really expensive so you're talking of two euros for a little small bottle of water 250 euros for a coca-cola yeah so let's check out the room all right so we're in room 365 get the key right Right, so as you come in, very spacious room. Uh, we have actually uh, been staying here for a few nights because uh, we actually came in the early hours of the morning. So uh, yeah, we've actually been here a couple of nights now. I've managed to tidy the place up a little bit. So yeah, got loads of storage space uh, for all your clothes and your shoes. Also, there's a safe as well. I think we had to pay, was it 10 euros, I think, for the safe? I'm not too sure on that extra bedding up the top as well but yeah it's two single beds put together uh, storage at the sides as well a uh, place to put your suitcase so yeah my wife's suitcase there and then you've got a big flash green telly on the wall hi you guys and then you've got some uh, working area here as well and you do get a little fridge so yeah a little fridge in there see it's all our water in there at the moment yeah, so up to now, it's a very clean, tidy room. Uh, it looks like it's been newly decorated as well. So I'll just show you the bathroom. So like I say, we've got a few bits and bobs in here of our stuff in here. But uh, yeah, beautiful walk-in uh, shower there, look. So yeah, you just look like you're in the sea when you're having a shower. So yeah, walk-in shower. And then we've got the toilet which was clean when we came in as well and a nice basin there air dryer if you need it I don't think I'll be needing it though do you any downside the shampoo the supply in the shower the body wash not a lot in there at all so yeah we could do a bit more uh, shampoo in the room right so let's just take you outside and show you the balcony So yeah, very bright today. It's been absolutely scorching hot today. So we haven't got a sea view and we haven't got a pool view. I asked for a, uh, a high floor, which we're on the third floor, and I also asked for a pool view, but we didn't get it. But you've got a uh, table and chairs there to sit at. And then we've got this view. So this is actually the front entrance of the hotel. And that's actually some uh, the pool over there. There's actually two swimming pools, which I'll show you, and some uh, some lounging area over there, some bathing area, a few shops uh, across the road. So this road, as you walk out the hotel, actually takes you straight down to the beach. It's only like five minutes walks down to the beach. Yeah, so this is our little room for the week uh, yeah we're very pleased with it as well so it's done as good all right so just one more thing to tell you about so uh, this is another downside see these little cups here 
you actually get those when you first get here. If you lose one of these plastic cups, you have to pay 10 euros for another cup. You're only allowed to drink out of these cups around the pub. So what you do, you take the cup to the bar, and they replace it for a clean cup, put your drink in it. Then you have to bring your cup back to your room. Else, if, say, like I say, if you do lose it, it's 10 euro, believe it or not. Can you believe it? Also, there's no tea and coffee facilities in the room. We've had to go and buy our own kettle. It was cheaper to go and buy one of these little kettles from across the road than it was to hire one. So I think it was 14 euros to hire this, 10 euros deposit. So you might as well just go out and buy one, aren't you? A little small one. So my wife bring tea, brings the tea and teas and the sugar and everything with us as well, and her own little cup there. So yeah, it could do with tea and coffee in the room. You know, being a four-star hotel as well, the facilities inside the room are not brilliant uh, for stuff like that. Even like having bottles of wa water in the fridge would actually help us. But no, no water in the fridge. The fridge was empty when we come in. Like I say, the machines, you have to buy the water from the machines, which is a fortune. Uh, when we first got here, we was absolutely thirsty, so we had to ask, ask the people to actually let us into the rest restaurant, which they kindly did, uh, to get us some uh, water and a few drinks, because I say we got here early hours of the morning and uh, there was just nothing to grab all to drink, everything was closed outside. But anyway, the nice lady on reception, she helped us and we actually got a drink from there. So, right, that's our room review. So we've got Neil. Yes. <laughs> and he's a subscriber as well, so he's looking after the restaurant. And it, are you the manager? Yeah. Yeah, the manager and you're... Manuel. Manuel, that was it, Manuel. Yeah, so these guys are absolutely amazing. They've done a really good job all this week while we've been here. So thank you to all you guys. Really enjoyed thank it. You. So thank and everybody who works here, yeah. You're a bit late. Yeah, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show everybody all the food uh, that you guys have been preparing all day for us. So thank you guys. So just take you around. Right, so I'm in the restaurant really early before everybody gets here, so I'm just gonna show you what foods they actually do. So as you can see, these are all the starters. So you can have anything from uh, like the meats the uh, you get like uh, cheeses but yeah this looks really good they do like little seafood stuff as well all the mixed stuff but yeah so it's all self-service and you can go back as much as you like as well right so these are all the main dishes they have so there you've got hack fillet I've got the potatoes there and we've got uh, pork ribs so so he's cooking the fresh fish tonight as well and we've got the pork as well how you doing and then you've got the chips and today battered cauliflower wow I've had that before and then you can even end up with cheese and biscuits as well if you fancy cheese and biscuits and then if you haven't filled yourself so I have a selection of bread rolls as well just help yourselves how you doing I'm back again so we've got uh, veget vegetable uh, paella and the rices and stuff like they have so check this guy out uh, he's professional aren't you son yeah yeah and you're hot hi Mark <laughs> Working in this seat, doing all the cooking. So yeah, you can even have some pizza as well. How you doing? Are you okay? <laughs> and they even do pasta dishes as well. So. And they finish up with the ice creams uh, for the kids as well, or the grown-ups if you want some, with the loads of different toppings and you can even have the little cone on there as well. Right, so we have all the sweets as well. So all the lovely puddings. So yeah, they've let me in just to show you all before everybody starts tucking in. So yeah, amazing the stuff they actually do. And it tastes absolutely beautiful. So yeah, there's all the sweets as well. 
got fruit as well, so if you would like fruit after you've had your, uh, your dinner, you can help yourself to all the fruit. Yeah, and also they have uh, vending machines as well, so you can actually have orange juice or pineapple juice. Also, you've actually got white wine, red wine and sangria, believe it or not. And then you've got the Coca-Cola and stuff. And you can help yourself to your beers as well. And then the teas and coffees. So yeah, this is all free. This is on all inclusive. Yeah, so just help yourselves. Hello. Hello. How you doing? How you doing? We're all okay. It's hot still. Very hot. So yeah, this is the restaurant. So yeah, really big restaurant. Nice and clean. They get you in and out really fast as well. Uh, you don't rush you to uh, get out, but uh, I say there's always a table ready. Uh, there's not very rare, there's a, a queue outside waiting to come in. Right, as you can see, I've got my starter. Uh, this is like a, it's, it's got like egg in it. Uh, I'm not too sure what's actually inside it. It's got, looks like it's got a bit of potato in it as well. So yeah, we're gonna give the starter a try. Yeah, so there's actually some like fish in there as well. So yeah, it's like egg, fish, a little bit of a Right, Michael, so is that your starter? Yeah. Yeah, so Michael's got his starter lot. Check out what he's got. So he's got pizza. What else you got? Onion and noodles. That's a bit of a mixture, isn't it? Yeah, so that's my starter done with. Yeah, so that, yeah, that was a really good starter, that was. And I say Michael's still tucking into his lot. He's uh, his, his starter. You're having a main as well, Michael? Probably be as well. <laughs> right, let's try a bit of this paella as well, shall we? Oh, sorry, it's pasta. So, yeah, it's uh, sea vegan pasta. Right, so we've got some sort of a lemon cake, which you can see there. And then I've just had a, a bit of that, like a yogurt with jelly in the top. I had like little nuts on the top of it as well. Right, so there you go everybody, that's the restaurant in the Tui Suyo uh, Hotel. Yeah, and what a wonderful place it is. Right, there you go everybody. I hope you enjoyed that little walk around the hotel we're staying in in Santa Ponza. So yeah, it's calling it the Tui Sunio. Uh, also, it's the Premiero as well, the name of it. I'm not sure why they actually call them both names, but it's actually a Tui hotel now. Yeah, so the people in there, absolutely stunning. Uh, they do all do a really good job. So what a great time we've had there this week. And uh, they've made us really welcome as well. So the entertainment's been good. All the food's been absolutely amazing as well. The rooms was immaculate, cleaned every day, cleaned towels every day as well. So yeah, that's brilliant. So hope you've all enjoyed that uh, review of the hotel. If you want to come and stay here, we're actually booked it with the, uh, to look in the uh, TUI uh, brochure or online and you'll see uh, this place at Centre Ponza. 
so yeah if you've liked the video please give us that thumbs up and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for all my new videos coming up and we'll see you in the next video so yeah we'll see you soon and thanks for watching